Welcome back to the channel everybody and today we are taking a piece, the port color butt or the capicola piece. You, if you've been watching my channel at all, you know I love this piece. And today we're going to turn it into a stuffed roast. So I'm not going to waste any time, we're going to dive right in. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do and how to do it. Time to uh, get this guy prepped. For this, I'm going to just dock the ends a little bit. I want it to be somewhat even. Now there's a couple different ways you can do this. I'm going to actually take my knife and run it along and roll this out. You can do a pocket, but I will do another video on that because uh, that's a different way to do it. This is just one way to do it. Nice sharp knife, long enough knife. You don't have to be a butcher to do this, but just take your time. Anyways, what we're gonna do Don't go all the way through because you want this in one piece. You also have to remember we are going to slice it this way. So that means we have to roll it the opposite way. Otherwise it wouldn't work. So there we go. This is the whole piece. Doot, doot. There we go from start. And as we roll it out. Eh, not bad, not bad. I didn't cut through, which is good. Anyways, we're gonna just leave this like this for now. We're gonna move on to the filling. And then once the filling's cooled down, stuff this bad boy and get it in the smoker. But unfortunately, Mother Nature is not nice to us again today. It's raining, so I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film outside. I'm sorry. I really gotta do something about that. That really sucks. We're gonna work on the filling. I've got some apple. Apple goes well with pork. I've got some onion. I've got some mushroom, parsley, olive oil. We're gonna keep this really simple, but full of flavor. And I'm gonna add some spices, but what we're gonna do these three ingredients, we're gonna dice them down really fine, saute them off, let it cool down, and then add the parsley and the olive oil. Combine all that as our filling. But we wanna let it cool down just because we don't wanna add a hot filling to the raw pork. It's just not good. We want the whole thing to cook at the same time. Let's just dive in and do this. Got everything, everything's cooled down now. So what we're going to do, a little bit of parsley, give this a quick mix. What we're going to do now, unroll it. So now we've got this beautiful piece of meat rolled out. And it gives us an, another opportunity to add more flavor. So we're going to put some salt and pepper in the middle or on this, take advantage of it, put that spice in there. I'm gonna put the other glove on, because this is gonna get a little messy. We're just gonna... So we're gonna start with that. Just pat it out, we wanna try and get it over the whole width. Now this is the fun and maybe a little tricky part, but we're gonna just take it and roll it back. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Beautiful. 
If some falls out the ends, don't worry about it. It's gonna happen. And we're just gonna take some butcher twine and uh, tie it up. Because we want it to stay together at least. There we go, yeah, a little bit did fall out, but that's okay. Now it's nicely tied up. And uh, to the smoker we go. Okay, I just went outside, just went and checked on it. It's been just over three hours. I'm sorry, it's still raining outside. Uh, I just, I grabbed a couple photos and little video though. It's looking beautiful. I took the temperature, we're at like 67, 68 degrees. I still want it to, 71 72 so a little bit longer so next time you see me it will be in here all rested and then we're gonna cut into it i can't wait you guys ready i'm ready here we go it's been resting for like 30 minutes total cook time was like three hours and 50 minutes and uh there we go oh my god it smells so good i'm just gonna dive in i'm and here we go. Oh. I'm gonna show you on that camera. Oh, that is beautiful. So juicy. <clears throat> okay. I love this. Now, one good thing you can see here is if when I move you guys, that's all the juice that it lost, that is why you need to let it rest because all that juice sucks back in. If I would have cut it right away, we would have had a lot more. So this is a good thing and that's why you let it rest. And oh, look at that, that is, I'm gonna show you too, that camera. That is beautiful. Beautiful smoke ring. That's nice swirl of uh, all those great ingredients. I'm just gonna take the string off. Just take it from the middle, I want some everything. That's so good. And the outside, smoky. For me, these flavors work really well together and I highly recommend you do this. Mm. Now for sides, do whatever you want. Do your favorite side, rice, potatoes, uh, 100 different things you could do with this. Try this, you'll be, you'll be happy if you do. And uh, if you wanna make gravy, I forget what side, that side or that side. I'll put the link to uh, the one gravy video Guys, thanks for watching and uh, happy eating.